things occur coming up from the ground, just like this one here. Have you ever seen these? The little boys around here call these, well, by the rather unpleasant name of doodles. The correct name for them, however, is stink horns. Now, the reason they're called stink horns is that they really do stink. They produce this brown, slimy material on the top of them, and as you can see, it attracts flies. The flies presumably eat some of it, and in that slimy material, there are the spores, which are something like seeds for this particular fungus. So the, the flies actually spread the fungus to new areas. That's its dispersal mechanism. Now, this poor little chap here has sort of wilted. What happens with these things is they come up early in the morning, the flies come around them and so on, and then probably by, well, lunchtime or even before, they've started to collapse, and usually by mid-afternoon they've fully died off. In fact, that one over there is one that's died off from probably yesterday. They certainly don't last very long. Now, there are other types of fungi related to this one as well. There are ones that have this more star-like shape. Again, they produce a foul-smelling um, brown material in the middle for flies. But then there are other fungi, such as this particular one, which basically is a puff ball. It contains lots and lots of bright yellow ochre spore inside it, which are spread by the wind. Now, all of these types of fungi are quite harmless in your garden. These are, in fact, just the fruiting bodies from a fairly harmless type of a, a fungus. Now, the actual fungus is this white stuff. They're not roots of this bit. That's the true fungus. And the red bit is, in fact, the fruiting body. Now, you know when you eat mushrooms? Well, the mushroom isn't the fungus itself. It's just the fruiting body. It's a bit that comes up when the plant's having sex. And indeed, this is just the sexual organ, too. But the real fungus is that bit. It lives on decaying wood and so on in the ground, doesn't hurt living plants. So basically, look at them, never eat them, but they're harmless enough. Enjoy them for what they are in the backyard.